$4,000 check out of nowhere. Hey boss, so you might have seen my video on how I manifested a million dollars and met Oprah and did all these other crazy things. And you can check that out here and we'll put it in the link in the description as well. Now I don't do a lot of content about manifestation law of attraction on my channel, but I do like making the occasional video because it has played a huge part in building my business to multiple millions every year, creating the kind of business that I've always dreamed of where I can work from home and work from wherever and just building an overall life that I'm really truly in love with. And so I think if I can help you in any way and pass this on to you, then I'm doing my job. So this might feel a little woo woo to you and that's okay, <laughs> but I would ask you to be open-minded to it because I, whether I was always conscious of it or not, have been incredibly good at manifesting money. Now I'm not saying I think I want a million dollars and it appears, what I'm saying is, and what I've talked about in my other Law of Attraction videos, is that when you combine the thought and the feeling and the action together in what you want to create for yourself, really amazing things do happen because when you put out into the universe what you want to attract, you're going to get it back. So I have a very specific way of manifesting money into my life and it's pretty powerful. And even I surprise myself sometimes, to be honest. I know, I know what you might be thinking right now, Sunny, this is a really long intro, get into the manifesting money part. And I'm going to, but I think you need to understand the context first. So if you're excited about manifesting money, if you're excited about creating more abundance in your life, make sure you hit that like button. It helps us get seen by more people here on YouTube and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Now, the biggest thing when it comes to manifesting money and a recent experience that I had is it's really important to understand the power of your thoughts, the power of your feelings, and the power of your words. All of these things combine to allow you to create more abundance in your life. Now, even if you're in the worst place right now, maybe you just got laid off, maybe you're financially struggling, I understand what that feels like. I have been in that position and it's not a fun place to be, but it's the best place for you to start truly understanding the power of those things to create the abundance that you're looking for. So just recently, I. I got a text message from my mom, which we'll pull up. We'll do a little split screen right now. Um, and she said, it's your lucky day. And she sent me a uh, screenshot of a check that had arrived at my parents' house. I'm not sure why I went there um, for me. And it was for $4,000, just over $4,000. Came out of nowhere, came out of the blue and was not expecting it at all. And in that week, I had actually made a lot of big investments and big decisions financially. And I, constantly was trying to keep myself out of a place of feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm spending so much money. Oh my gosh, this is freaking me out. And went into a place of this is generous. This is going to ultimately lead to more abundance, etc. And then boom, $4,000 check out of nowhere. So how do you do it? First thing is you need to understand that I have certain words in my vocabulary that I do not ever say, and I'm actually only going to say them in this video because I have to, but I am that rigid about not saying these things because as I mentioned before, the words you use are powerful and they have weight and whatever you say and put into the universe tells the universe exactly what to give you. So I do not say the following phrases. I do not ever say I'm broke. I don't ever say I'm poor. I don't ever say I can't afford that. I don't ever say that's too expensive. I, you will never hear me say those words again. I had to say them now, but you'll never hear me say those words again. I consciously and actively remove them from my vocabulary. And I was doing this when I was living in my tiny shoebox apartment and could barely pay rent. And it is a huge reason why I am where I am today. So immediately, the first thing you need to do is eliminate those words, those phrases from your vocabulary, because if you are in a mind frame or you're constantly saying that's too expensive, I can't afford that, I'm poor, I'm broke, you are telling the law of attraction and the universe that that's what you should get in return. So agreed? Give me a comment below and let me know if there's any other phrases that you need to cut out of your vocabulary, because what you think, what you say, what you feel, all leads to what you're ultimately going to get. Now, step number two is identifying any patterns you have around money. We all have them. We all have a money story. We all struggle when it comes to money and thought patterns around money. So you have to identify them first before you can break them. And you have to break those patterns in order to truly manifest abundance and money into your life. So when you think about money, 
or you think about what you actually want to achieve financially right now, how does it make you feel? Do you feel nervous, anxious, scared? Do you feel like it sounds exciting, but I'm never really gonna achieve it? All of those thoughts are damaging. And all of those thoughts are telling you constantly you're not worthy of creating the financial abundance that you truly deserve. So you really need to understand when you think about money, what comes up for you. And really write it down, take notes right now, do whatever you gotta do. Because I had my own money stories and I had to identify them before I could break those patterns. So you have to identify your old beliefs, thoughts around money, and you have to actively destroy them. And it takes time, but you have to actively, every time you have a scarce thought and you have a thought of, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna be able to do this or I don't deserve it, you have to immediately go, thank you, but I'm not interested in that thought anymore. A really solid place to start looking is what are your parents' beliefs about money? What's your family's belief about money? How do they operate with money? Are they constantly hoarding and saving and not spending? Are they constantly saying that they can't afford things? That oftentimes will have a very big impact on how you think about it. So you have to actively change those behaviors and those thought, pa thought patterns. Now, the third thing is when you do think about money and you can switch your mindset, even for a second, to say, I am worthy of this. I deserve this. Abundance flows easily to me. Feel it in your body. Feel the emotion of that because everything operates a vibration. And if you're putting out a positive, high frequency vibration, you're going to be open to receiving more abundance and more financial well being from the universe. So I want you to think about money right now, take a second right now, and put yourself into a state of excitement, of worth, of knowing that this is meant for you and that you are capable of achieving your financial dreams. And I'm gonna do a little affirmation in a second. I want you to close your eyes and we're gonna do it together. And it's gonna allow you to reframe your thought patterns around money and change your frequency and vibration as well around money. Now, before we do that, the final thing that you need to do before we dive into the reprogramming of your brain is feel as though you already have it. Whatever you want to achieve financially, whether it's getting out of debt, it's creating a big savings, um, investing in something you've always wanted to invest in, whatever you want to create, I need you to feel like you already have it and really hone in on what that feels like for yourself. And I want you to actually write or say out loud, but I prefer you write it. I'm so grateful that I have X. I'm so grateful that I have $10,000 in savings. I'm so grateful that I have no debt anymore. I'm debt free. I'm so excited that I've been able to invest in this coach that I've always wanted to work with. Whatever it is, write it down and feel it as if it's already happened and it's already real. Because the universe doesn't know any different, the law of attraction doesn't know any different. The moment that you say it's real and the moment you say it's grateful is when you set into course, it actually becoming reality. Now we're gonna go into the affirmation. Stick with me here. I promise you that this is going to make a massive, massive difference for you. So I want you to remember this and if you have to save this video and play it every day, do it. Do whatever you gotta do. Close your eyes and I'm gonna walk you through exactly what to repeat to yourself all day, every day in order to create financial abundance and manifest money, okay? Let's do it. Once your eyes are closed, repeat after me, whether out loud or in your head. Abundance flows easily to me because I am open and ready to receive the money that is already on its way to me. I am so grateful for this financial freedom. Abundance flows easily to me because I am open and ready to receive the money that is already on its way to me. I am so grateful for this financial freedom. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat that all day, every day, in your head, out loud, tell everybody you love, do whatever you need to do to make that feel real for you. And that is the first step of setting into motion, creating true financial freedom and abundance. And I know you're probably thinking, Sunny, that isn't real money. It's not giving me money immediately. I'm telling you, you cannot get the things you want in life by being in a mind space or a head space or a mindset where you don't believe it's possible for you. If you're telling the universe you're broke, you can't, you can't afford this, it's too expensive, that's what you're gonna get. And if you look at the patterns in your life, I can pretty much guarantee that if you're currently thinking that way, look at your financial reality. Is it a reflection of that? That is the law of attraction in motion. If you're internally embodying that you can get anything you want and financial abundance flows easily to you, it will. I am truly living proof of it. I swear to you. 
and I was not always this way, but the law of attraction played a big part in how I've been able to build the life that I have today and build the business that I have today and create true financial freedom. If you haven't watched this video on my simple steps to creating financial freedom, make sure you watch that as well. Now, the big thing I wanna leave you with is the more that you try and hold on and have a tight grip on your finances and are so consumed by worry about your finances, the more you're gonna have to worry about. That's just how it works. So the biggest thing you can do is practice removing yourself from the outcome, removing yourself and detaching yourself from what you're expecting to happen. Because when you worry about it and you're constantly thinking about it all the time and you need and want it to happen, it comes across as this desperation with riddled with anxiety and fear and scarcity and again you're admitting that then to the universe so you have to know that it's already happened be grateful that it's already happened even if it hasn't and kind of trick your brain into knowing that it's going to happen for you and you don't need to worry about it if you like this video i know it's a little different but let me know if you liked it and put in the comments below if you want more videos like this Give this a like, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. I put a bunch of Law of Traction videos over here that you're gonna wanna watch next, so make sure you check those out. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.